Hey guys, my name is Derek, and for those of you that don't know me, I graduated college in June, and recently, I started working as an engineer at one of the big tech companies. I want to start this video off by juxtaposing a few articles that I found. This first one comes from Nicholas Wong on LinkedIn, all right? And he says, just took a look at my class syllabus. No AI or LLM used aloud, period. On the first page, all bold, the first thing addressed to the class. And uh, it's important to note that this guy is a CS major. So it means that he is studying computer science and uh, most likely, right, with the intention of going into the industry as a software engineer or some sort of other engineer that writes code, okay? And you can see here in big bold letters, rule number one, any use of AI or LLM is not tolerated in my class. This includes ChatGPT, Grammarly, OpenAI, etc. And then, it, you know, you can see this is very strict, right? Every submission will be run through an AI detector and if flags a TA or I will review your submission in depth for AI use. And if you are caught, you will automatically fail the class and be reported to the university. Okay, so very, very serious. Now, with that in mind, I want to look at another article, all right? And this is from, this is from TechCrunch, all right? And the headline of this article says, Coinbase CEO explains why he fired engineers who didn't try AI immediately. And I won't go in uh, too deep into this article, but basically what happened here is the CEO of, the CEO launched an internal tool within the company called Coinbase. And basically he, he sent out a Slack message telling everyone, hey, try this new AI tool. You must use this AI tool in your day-to-day -day workflow or at least try to use it immediately. And I think after one week or so, he got a bunch of data on on whether or not the engineers actually used AI or not. And he interviewed every single person who didn't adopt AI. And you know, some people had legitimate answers, like for example, they were on vacation or something, but the people who didn't have good answers, they got fired immediately, um, which is pretty crazy. And I also want to look at another article. Um, this is Meta is about to start grading workers on their AI skills. And basically, Starting in 2026, employee performance will be graded based on AI-driven impact, okay? So for those of you that don't know how uh, Meta rates its employees um, on like, let's say you're an employee at Meta and um, it's performance review time and the company is trying to decide who to lay off and who to stay and who gets a promotion. Well, it turns out that starting next year, the people who use AI and use it on a day-to-day -day basis are going to be the ones who get promoted. And the people who don't use AI, and even if they made a good impact at the company, if the, if the impact at the company is not AI-driven, then they are not meeting expectations and they could be on the chopping block. And I really just wanted to contrast this stance on AI within the industry as opposed to uh, the stance on AI in school. So. In school, in summary, right, in school, any use of AI is completely, completely looked down upon and prohibited, at least for this class. Um, I think when I was in college too, there was kind of a similar sentiment. But as I started working here, I realized that you not only are you allowed to use AI, if you don't use AI on a day-to-day -day basis, you are actually punished for not doing so. It's like, no matter what you do, you're cooked. Um, and I think it's really interesting how education and what education is supposed to be preparing you for, right? Education is supposed to prepare you for uh, what you do in the industry. The stance on AI has completely, completely diverged. On the one hand, right, in school, well, as a student, if you are using AI, then the way, the way educators see it is that you are hindering your learning process. Um, and so if you go through all of school, without using AI, sure you learn the fundamentals correctly, but the second you jump into the industry and you you don't have the skill sets of uh, being able to know how to properly use these LLMs, like knowing how to prompt them, how to instruct them um, into giving you the right answers, then you're cooked on the job. Um, whereas if you use AI in school to get all your answers, then you're also cooked because uh, you don't learn anything somehow, someway, CS students managed to catch another L. And immediately, once you leave school and you go into the industry, or hopefully, if you can even get a job in this industry, um, 
you know, you have to do a complete 180 on how you look at AI and how you use AI. And to be quite honest, I don't really see a really good or straightforward solution for this. And, you know, I'm just kind of curious to see how this will play out in the future. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comments. Bye.